How to measure salesperson performance. Sales performance is a critical aspect of any organization and can be a difficult area to manage. The ability to accurately measure sales performance is essential to ensure that resources are allocated efficiently and effectively. There are two main types of sales performance measures. Number one, objective measures focus on quantifiable outcomes, such as the number of sales or revenue generated. Number two, subjective measures focus on more qualitative aspects, such as customer satisfaction or the quality of the sales pitch. Defining objective and subjective measures of salesperson performance. Salespeople are the heart of any business that relies on custom interactions and purchases to generate revenue. The success of a company can hinge on the performance of its sales force. Measurement and analysis of this performance are essential to understanding whether a business is achieving its goals, but doing so can be difficult. There are objective measures of salesperson performance, such as the number of sales made, the cost of sales, or their value. These numbers can give you a good sense of how well an individual is doing but they don't tell the whole story. To get a more complete picture, you need to look at subjective measures as well. Customer satisfaction is one important subjective measure. If your salespeople are generating positive relationships, likely they're doing their jobs well. You can also look at collaboration within the sales team. Why it's important to integrate both objective and subjective measures. There are several reasons it's important to integrate both objective and subjective measures when assessing customer performance. First, objective measures provide a granular view of customer behavior and can identify areas of opportunity or potential issues. Additionally, subjective measures can provide valuable insights into customer satisfaction and perceptions of value. Finally, integrating both data types can help businesses improve collaboration and decision-making around customer-facing performance. The benefits of integrating objective and subjective measures. Organizations are under pressure to deliver value to customers and other stakeholders. To do this, they need to understand customer requirements and design solutions that meet or exceed those expectations. One way to gain this understanding is through objective measures, such as customer surveys or focus groups. This data can provide valuable insights into what customers want and how they feel about a company's products or services. However, collecting and analyzing data has its limitations. It can be time-consuming and expensive, and may not provide the granularity needed to make informed decisions. Additionally, customers' perceptions may change over time, making it difficult to rely on survey results from a single point in time. Subjective measures can complement objective data by providing real-time feedback that is more specific. The challenges of integrating objective and subjective measures. In business, the customer is often said to be king, Yet, measuring customer performance can be a challenge. On the one hand, businesses want to collect data that can improve performance. On the other hand, subjective measures of customer satisfaction are also important. The granularity of data is another challenge. Too much data can overwhelm businesses and make it difficult to see the value. The key is to balance collecting enough data to be useful, but not so much that it's confusing. Finally, collaboration is essential when integrating objective and subjective measures. Businesses must work together to determine what data is important and how it should be used. By doing so, they can improve their understanding of customers and provide them with the best possible experience. How to overcome the challenges of integrating objective and subjective measures. In business, the customer is always right. The age-old adage still holds today, as customers are now more powerful than ever. With the internet and social media, Customers have a platform to voice their dissatisfaction with businesses loud and clear. It is crucial for companies to ensure that they are providing the best possible performance and value to their customers at all times. One way to ensure high levels of customer satisfaction is through collaboration. Businesses can gain valuable insights into their needs and wants by working closely with customers. By collaborating with customers, companies can develop more innovative solutions that meet customer needs. Ultimately, the collaboration between companies and customers leads to higher satisfaction levels for both parties involved. Best Practices for Integrating Objective and Subjective Measures There are several factors to consider when integrating objective and subjective measures to assess customer performance. First, it is important to ensure that the subjective measures are high quality and provide valuable insights into customer satisfaction. Second, 
the granularity of the data collected should be appropriate for the business context and value proposition. Finally, it is important to establish a clear process for collaboration between the team responsible for collecting data and the team responsible for collecting subjective inputs. By following these best practices, businesses can effectively assess performance. The importance of setting clear objectives and measures. To ensure that a business is providing value to its customers, it is important to set clear performance goals beyond accounting principles. By doing so, businesses can track their progress and identify areas where they need to improve while recognising the need to monitor the well-being of team members. When setting objectives, it is important to be specific and identify what exactly you want to achieve relating to current and future performance. For example, rather than simply setting a goal to increase customer satisfaction, you could instead set a goal to increase customer satisfaction by 10% within the next six months. This granularity will make it easier to track your progress and determine whether you are meeting your objectives. It is also important to involve stakeholders in setting objectives and measures. By doing so, you can ensure that everyone is on the same page and working towards the same goals. How to align objectives and measures with company strategy. Organizations need to ensure objectives and measures align with company strategy to create value for customers and improve business performance. They can achieve this by ensuring objectives are customer focused, using measures that are granular and actionable, and collaborating with other departments to ensure alignment. Customer focus is essential for organizational success. Organizations can improve customer satisfaction and business performance by aligning objectives and measures with customer needs. To do this, organizations need to understand the needs of their customers and design objectives and measures that address those needs. Granularity is also important for organizational success. By breaking down objectives and measures into smaller, more manageable pieces, organizations can improve performance by making it easier to track progress and identify areas needing improvement. The role of feedback in integrating objective and subjective measures. Organizations are under constant pressure to improve performance while simultaneously delivering customer value. The tension between these two objectives can be reconciled by integrating objective and subjective performance measures. Customer feedback is a key source of information for understanding how well an organization meets its objectives. We can collect feedback including surveys, interviews, focus groups, and observation. Subjective performance measures are important because they provide insights into the customer experience that cannot be gleaned from objective measures alone. The most effective way to integrate objective and subjective measures is to use them in tandem. By collecting both types of data, organizations can get a complete picture of their performance. Tips for making the most of objective and subjective measures. Most businesses use a combination of objective and subjective measures to track performance. Here are some tips for making the most of both types of measures. Number one, use objective measures to get a broad overview of performance. They can help spot trends and see how different areas of the business are doing. Number two, Use subjective measures to get a more detailed understanding of what's going on. They can help you understand why certain trends are happening and what impact they're having on customers or employees. And number three, make sure you have a good mix of both measures. Too much focus on one type can lead to missing important insights about the other. So in conclusion, number one, know your strengths and weaknesses. Understanding what you are good at and what you are weak at is essential for any salesperson. That said, Knowing your strengths also gives you an idea of which other areas are worth exploring. The best part about knowing your weaknesses? More often than not, the solution's right in front of you. And number two, create actionable goals. Setting goals is easy. Setting goals you can actually achieve is harder. One of the best things you can do for yourself is to ask what the best goals are. Goals that put pressure on you but offer real tangible rewards that you didn't know were possible.